Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. That's right, I am the floating head in space. <laughs> and today let's talk about the Evercade. The Evercade had a heist, unfortunately. So there's a couple of things that stood out for me guys. And uh, I want to dig into it a little bit deeper than just talking about the product that was stolen. There's a couple of things that they mentioned here on their website that I found rather interesting. So let me point them out to you. Let's go... Let me show you their announcement here. Important announcement, Evercade EXP limited edition unit stolen in robbery. Right? And then when you go to this article here, uh, it gives you the same thing. Important announcement, Evercade limited edition units in stolen robbery. This appears to be a targeted robbery, guys. There's a couple of interesting things here. The first being is um, that uh, the UK U USA stock was affected the eu stock it's going to be available um, and, and was not affected so it's only the stuff coming to the u.s and the uk that got hit now if this is targeted <laughs> who the hell's going to target this you know i mean this is like very specific right because where are you where else are you going to move these you can only get these particular units to their poor approved vendors right so if you decided to steal these for for what purpose you can't move them right it doesn't matter you know if they show up here in the u.s uh, and i don't know what laws are everywhere else but here in the u.s you'd be in possession of stolen property i can get you in hot water and i imagine you know all countries have you know similar type of laws and that is just nuts and if it's targeted they knew what they were going for Right, so it could have been an inside job, you don't know, but it's just very odd. It's a very odd thing to steal. Of all the things that you can <laughs> use a heist for, uh, these handhelds, you know, I mean, you would have been better off taking some some Nintendo Switches. I mean, you know, standard procedure. A lot of these companies have. Uh, serial numbers embedded in them as well as the software probably has a unique identifier on these units and there's something else that, that they said that uh, made something stand out for me and it might have to do with you know their liability insurance but take a look at this line this is an unprecedented situation in the history of blaze and funstock and we deeply sympathize with all our fans and customers who are the victims of this theft. Well, if, if it's still in your possession, <laughs> you're the victim of the theft, right? If it was in possession of the shipping company, right? Then, you know, for, for liability purpose, for insurance purposes, they could say, well, we released it to the customers. They just, it was on their way. Right. So then the liability is on that company to, you know, make good on on the stolen goods. You know, most companies have insurance for this type of stuff. Um, you know, I, I think I, I heard it was about 600 K. That was I mean, it was it, it's money, guys. It's money. But the weird thing is that these are hard to move. These are hard to move. There's something that just, you know. There's something about this that doesn't pass a smell test. And I'm not saying that they're doing anything dishonest or anything like that. I mean, it could be many things, you know. I'm going give you an example. It could be a competitor. <laughs> it could be somebody that paid a, comp a competitor to, to cut the, <laughs> chop them off at, at the knees, right? But in this small market, I mean, it's, it's really not worth doing these kind of things. But it's the strangest thing. I, I guess the recession, you know, is, is hitting a left time. <laughs> a lot harder than the most of us think and you know the value of video games has gone sky high last few years you know who knows you know what else was in in that particular you know van or truck or place where they had these maybe they were going after after something else you know and they took these by mistake because i'm telling you it doesn't make any sense who the heck would steal these? Steal these? If you want to steal something, you want to, 
and I'm not speaking from <laughs> I'm not speaking from personal experience. You know, like most of you, I've seen movies and stuff, and and you know, I have a I have a nephew who's a uh, in law enforcement. Uh, but usually, you want to steal steal things that you can move, that you can fence right away, that you can distribute right away. But if anybody shows with one of these up, the UK, because they took all the UK and all the USA stock, right? <laughs> so if somebody gets a hold of one of these <laughs> and goes on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, they're instantly busted. I think, I mean, if they really have some some good security measures on this thing, you know, the first time they connect to the internet, they should be able to identify these. These have Wi-Fi as far as as, as far as I knew. But this is just the strangest of things. What do you guys think? I mean, who would uh, who would do this? Because they use the word targeted. That means that somebody planned this out. Somebody knew where these units were going to be. They knew how they were going to be transported. You know, and that's what makes me think that that uh, <laughs> there's just something that doesn't add up, guys. It doesn't add up. I mean, I could see it if it was gold. If you're stealing silver, you know, even if you were stealing Nintendo Switches, those would be easy, easier to move. But these units here, I mean, this is a, a very niche market. And whoever is holding these is going to get busted right away. Yeah, they're going to make new ones. But that first run, you know, clearly, clearly has to be marked in some sort of way. So... You know, the the first people that order them or the first generation can be identified. And that's just industry standards. I don't see Evercade deviating from that. But who could have planned this? I mean, I think that would be the bigger mystery, right? When we find out, we're probably going to be surprised in some way. Because in no planet, right? If you asked me yesterday, hey, there's going to be heist tomorrow, video games. You know, the last... The last thing I would have thought, yeah, somebody's going to go out there and plan a heist to steal Evercade EXPs. <laughs> that would have been the last thing. What do you guys think? I'm telling you, just something, there's something off about this. And and I don't know what it's going to be. I mean, I'm not a detective or anything, but uh, it has to be an inside job. And I think that the, the reasons why these were stolen are, are not clearly obvious right now. And when we find out what the truth is behind this heist. We're going to be very surprised. Guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All that good stuff. And I will catch you on the next time. Take care. New videos every week. Make sure you don't miss out and subscribe.